In Bloomington today, people gathered to remember an IU student who died one year ago after police say he was hit and killed by a drunk driver. Our Logan Gay talked with his family and friends tonight, not far from campus. It's been a year since Nate Stratton was hit and killed by an alleged drunk driver right here on 12th and Walnut while riding a scooter in the bike lane. His friends organized an event today to honor his memory, but his family says it's bittersweet. Nate Stratton's family says even a year later, their heartbreak is overwhelming. Nate was the most important person to all of us. He was my best friend. Um, I looked forward to a whole life with him. Nate's friends organized this vigil. It's their senior year at IU and would have been Nate's too. During the moment of silence, they reflected on his absence, cherished memories, and their pursuit for justice. It's certainly a celebration of the impact that he's made on our lives, but it's also, you know, a memory of there's still an ongoing court case and we really want to get justice for Nate. So I think just bringing everyone together and making sure that's still in the forefront of people's minds. For Nate's family, this was also a way to reconnect to the people who meant so much to him. Great to see his friends, but at the same time, it's people that are all his age that are still here with us and living their lives. And we don't get to see Nate do that. So it can be heart wrenching in many ways as well. I mean, every single night, my wife and I go to bed and we cry and we wake up every morning knowing that our son is gone. And so there's sadness, there's grief, there's anger. Police say the driver who hit Nate last year was drunk. Family is still waiting for Madeline Howard to be tried in court. Drunk driving absolutely gets overlooked by so many communities because uh, it just gets brushed under the rug and people are grief stricken and frozen in their grief. Because there wasn't one decision, there was four or five decisions that were made that caused this situation. The woman suspected in the crash is supposed to go to trial early next year. In Bloomington, Logan Gay, 13 News.